Edwards Drive-In closed Mondays because of the pandemic and dark today due to a power outage. But owner Jeff Edwards says business definitely rebounding. Now we're starting to see a lot more people a little more willing to come out. Um, you know, they feel a little more comfortable. Uh, they're wanting to celebrate uh, birthdays, whatever the case may be. Restaurants like his, though, still struggling to find workers. Edwards has half as many as he needs. We've heard about the labor shortage, but what about hot dogs? Especially when your Coney dog is a top seller. Normally we sell a thousand of those every Monday, uh, but there's a hot dog shortage. The ones he buys used to cost 23 bucks a box. Now he pays 41. The foam containers the dogs are served in also nearly doubled in price. And the cooking oil he uses for fries and onion rings shot up as well. He goes through 90 cases a month. There's a shortage on the caps that go on the jugs. They got plenty of oil, but they don't have the caps. As his sign says, there's also a ketchup shortage, meaning just three packets per customer. Now, just to be clear, there's no issue going to the grocery store and buying a bottle of ketchup. Where the shortage comes into play is with these individual packets. What's behind it? Simply put, manufacturing and supply chain shortages at the commercial level. And just as stadiums, amusement parks, and other large venues reopen, Edwards says he hasn't raised prices yet, but he suspects he'll soon be forced to. I think that this is just the beginning. I think this summer is going to be a very tough summer, especially in our business, navigating what the next thing is going to be. Uh, there's obviously a chicken shortage out there. It has not affected our chicken yet, but we see signs of it going to. So it's just how do you have to adjust your menu to accommodate what you can and cannot get?